Hi Soul Family, this is Latanya with Saggy Soul. Thank you for tuning in for your bi-weekly reading. This will be from February the 15th through February the 29th. I'm on fire signs. I just completed Sagittarius. Now I'm moving on to Leo. Before I get started, let me just say thank you to all of my old subscribers. And um, I really appreciate you. Thank you to all of my new subscribers. Welcome and thank you for subscribing. Thank you for the emails. Thank you for the likes. Thank you for the comments. Um, and the dislikes, of course, right? Everything's energy, right? Um, this will not resonate with everyone. So, uh, could resonate with 5%, 1%. One or two people, um, really, uh, whoever is meant to hear it the most. So continue to check your moon sign, your rising sign, your Venus sign, your Jupiter sign, your Mars sign, your south node, your north node, <laughs> all those placements in your birth chart, right? Um, hmm, anything else? Oh, happy Valentine's Day, right? <laughs> happy Valentine's Day, Leo. Okay, so I have already set my intentions and I have already done my prayer off camera. So let's go ahead and get into your pre-shuffle. So I hope you guys are having a great Friday. I hope you have plans, All right? We're just going to get some much needed rest. All right, Leo. One more. Okay, let's cut the deck. Leo, your focus, the Queen of Cups. You also have the Two of Pentacles in the reverse. You also have the Eight of Swords in the reverse. You also have the Four of Cups in the reverse. You also have the Ace of Swords in the reverse. You also have the Tower, Major Arcana, in the upright. And you also have the Two of Cups in the upright. Okay, Leo, come on down and let's see what's going on. Leo, your focus, the Queen of Cups. Now remember that this is just a picture on the card, so we're talking about energy, right? So even though this is a female on the card, this can also be a male, but we're talking about energy. So the Queen of Cups is a very nurturing, right? Mother or father figure, um, a genuine devotion uh, to family and very compassionate and wise beyond their years and in-depth intuition and very experienced, right? This could be an older woman or even someone's mother or father, right? But let's keep going. You also have the two of pentacles in the reverse. Now, in the upright, we know this is juggling more than one, right? This could be juggling work situations and family situations and different relationships, but not really wanting to make a decision. But in the reverse, this is really sometimes not making a decision. This is sometimes even adding more options onto our plate, which makes foundations very shaky, right? And sometimes this could mean that we have made a decision, but let's see what else is on the board. You also have the Eight of Swords in the reverse. 
Now, in the upright, we know that this is hmm, being trapped in our head. This is running stories over and over again of what was said and how it was said and just feeling an overall sense of helplessness, right? Just feeling trapped in our emotions and unable to make decisions. And in the reverse, this is having the ability to trust ourselves. This is releasing turmoil and things that keep us on the fence. This is freedom from regret and also having the courage to deal with things that are presently right in front of us. You also have the Four of Cups in the reverse. Now, in the upright, we know that this is hmm, sometimes not wanting to make a decision, right? Staying stagnant in relationships or letting things be and just weighing out what's to come in the future, right? Not really wanting to have any type of problems. And this can also be disillusion, right? But in the reverse, this is actually taking action. This is actually accepting those extra cups, right? Sometimes a new relationship or even a breakthrough in an awakening. Let's keep going. You also have the Ace of Swords in the reverse. Hmm. Now in the upright, we know this is truth. This is clarity. This is someone coming to us with information that perhaps we've been waiting on or us finding out information through our dreams or intuition. But in the reverse, hmm. this is something coming to light. This is something that was hidden, sometimes coming through unexpected sources. Let's keep going. You also have the Tower, Major Arcana. Oh, we know this is anything that's built on a shaky foundation has to come crumbling down. Anything that was done in the dark has to come to the light, right? Because even though we think no one sees the divine records and sees everything, nothing is kept hidden. And when it's time, the tower has to fall. Let's keep going. You also have the Two of Cups. Well, we know the Two of Cups is that harmonious type of soulmate relationship. Sometimes even a healing of a relationship. And just love being fulfilled, right? Leo, on the board, we have cups, water signs, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. We also have swords, air signs, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. We also have pentacles, earth signs, Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo. And we also have the tower, Aries. And remember, this could be... Uh, in their moon sign, their rising sign, their Venus sign, their Jupiter sign, their north node, their south node, right? Hmm. Leo. I do believe this is you. Compassionate, nurturing, very romantic in your partnerships and relationships. Devoted to people who are devoted to you. Hmm. Holding on to your cup. And maybe in the past, you were dealing with hmm, possible earth sign that was juggling you or even a possible air sign that was stagnant in the relationship. Maybe not wanting to see the soul connection, 
not wanting to take a part of the soul journey that they charted for on their life path when they signed up, right, to come down to this earth. And maybe this whole time you've been waiting on this person, Leo. But I see, it looks like they've made up their mind to come back. It looks like they've made up their mind to open up their heart and allow you in because maybe this person wasn't mature enough to receive love and sometimes people really don't understand what love is, right? Especially when it's overflowing from a king or a queen of cups. The only thing is, Leo, this person has made the decision to come back, but there's something that could be hidden and Maybe the tower is about them being in a relationship. Or maybe the tower is about them actually having feelings for you. Maybe this person could never get you off of their mind and realized that you are their soulmate. Maybe they went out there and I don't see the options card, but yeah, we have juggling, but maybe they went out there and was juggling a lot of different relationships or situationships. And they realized, Leo, that no one compares to you. <laughs> I'm assuming that you know who this is. And remember, Mercury is coming up on retrograde, right? So that brings back all the old, old exes, old spouses, old friendships, old partners. So Leo, you know who this is. Get ready. It will be up to you to decide if this person can be in your life again, right? Depending on how they treated you. Time to set boundaries for 2020, right? So, what will you do, Leo? Let's pick a couple cards of positive affirmations. Relationships are assignments for optimal growth and healing. Exactly. This person, you know who it is. You two charted together a relationship, whether it's a friendship that stays a friendship or a friendship that blossoms and comes together in engagement or marriage, but you know who this person is. Relationships are assignments for optimal growth and healing. I measure my success by how much fun I'm having. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so it is Valentine's Day, Leo, and it is the weekend coming up, right? And it is a new year, so it is definitely time to have fun. But we must remember, right, everything in moderation. I measure my success by how much fun I'm having. So, Leo, this is your reading from February the 15th through February the 29th. Please subscribe, like, share, and, of course, comment. Thank you for tuning in to Saggy Soul. And from one soul to another soul, I love you, soul family. Happy Valentine's Day. <laughs>